fam welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're going to be talking about everything walgreens so walgreens has their beauty event coming up this week august 20th through august 22nd it is majority of the time a three-day event a thursday through saturday and many experienced couponers um, rush out to Walgreens and they try to grab up all the great deals because you can stack those coupons, you can use those register rewards, and there's so many um, great deals out there when this beauty event comes about. In this video, I really wanted to um, go over some things to remember for anyone out there who is not really experienced in shopping in Walgreens during this time. So let's go over a couple of things. First thing, um, the beauty event. It is spend $25 or more on beauty and you're going to get 7,000 points, which is equivalent to $7. And those will be on the Walgreens phone number that you use when you um, check out at the store. Um, next thing never pay with points or you will not receive the points back so this goes for any spend deal if you get those booster coupons um that i've mentioned in previous walgreens videos i show a lot of booster coupons i normally get out the machine when i check out um anything that is a spend deal if it says spend ten dollars on revlon or if it says ten, spend ten dollars on you know colgate toothpaste you cannot use points to receive the points back. You're going to have to pay out of pocket and then you'll get those points unless it is a buy deal, meaning it says just buy two, you get 4,000 points. Then you can use points to lower your out of pocket and still get points back. So in this beauty event, it's just like that. Do not use points to pay. You want to use cash so you can get all your points back. So next thing is know your stores and remember they all operate differently. This is really important because I live about a mile, less than a mile from about three different Walgreens, okay? And I know how each and every one of those Walgreens work. I actually have a fourth Walgreens I go to and it is actually my favorite beauty event Walgreens to go to, but um, it's a little further. It's probably about four or five miles away from my house, but the ones that are right here by my house, I know exactly how they operate. There's one that will tell me um, they are not accepting the Walgreens paper flyer whatsoever. They're, they also tell you that what they're advertising on the flyer is what you have to buy. That's what happened in the last Walgreens beauty event that um, that was a couple of months back. You can check the Walgreens Beauty event videos out in my um, playlist. But I did mention the lady said it was only for the specific items that were being advertised for that beauty event, meaning they have a table set out. And um, once you purchased the $25 worth of stuff, they'd give you the bag, which is a couple of little samples and then the coupon inside of it. Now the ones down the opposite direction, both of those Walgreens are very open and friendly when it comes to couponers coming in during the beauty event. They know we're here to shop. They know we want the best deals and they give you the bag before you, they give you the bag, take the coupon out, scan all your items, scan your spend 25 get 7000 points coupon which is an actual flyer and you have happy shopping but unfortunately not all Walgreens are like that so you really just want to know your stores um because they all are honestly completely different all right guys so going into things to remember number 3 is be sure your total is $25 or more before coupons and after all IVC booklet coupons. Now, $25 or more is stating everything that you've picked up equals at least $25 and that's not saying after you use all these coupons. Again, you want to know your stores because just the other day I was in the store and I had a booster coupon for spend 30 get 6,000 or 7,000 points. It wasn't for the beauty event. It was just a basic booster coupon that could be used on any items in the store. And the guy was like, oh, well, you're not going to be at $30 after all these coupons. And I'm trying to explain to him, it doesn't have to be after all my coupons come off. So he kind of didn't want to scan it. In the end, he ended up scanning it, but you have to kind of know your coupon policy, which is why we're going over these things to remember. 
um, and know your stores because some stores are honestly just going to act really funny. Um, and next thing is $25 after all IVC booklet coupons. So your IVC booklet coupons are the coupons that are in the booklet in the front of the store where you find the ad. But nowadays with all the COVID going on, um, my stores haven't been having so many booklets in the front or ads. They kind of did away with the ads completely. Um, and they want you to utilize your phone. So towards the end of the video, I'm going to show you, you can also find these IVC booklet coupons, um, in your app and they say with card. So say your total is exactly $25. You've picked up all these items that equal a total of $25, but you found a coupon in your app that says with card or in the IVC booklet Walgreens coupon because those are technically Walgreens coupons. They're not manufacturer coupons. Um, your total is still going to have to be $25 even after, say it's a $2 off L'Oreal shampoo. Your total still has to be $25 after that $2 coupon comes off. So technically you need to be at $27. So when that, $20, when that $2 coupon comes off, you're at $25 still. So that's what that means um, when I say after your IVC booklet coupon. All right, guys. So moving into number four, you cannot have more coupons than items. So this is something that you definitely want to remember when shopping over at Walgreens because you're going to need to add some filler items. So if you are using register rewards to lower your out of pocket and you end up having more coupons than items, this is when you will need to add a cheap filler item, such as a dollar makeup brush or a bar of soap. So those are just two examples that I'm, I gave you guys because those are things I like to pick up when I'm over at Walgreens during the beauty event and I need to get my total right at $25 or I need a couple, another item or so, um, cause those are very cheap items. But if you guys aren't familiar with register rewards, knowing when a beauty event is going to come up is really important because, um, transactions prior to that definitely help you get your out of pocket super low when the beauty event does come around because us as couponers, we like to use register rewards to lower our out of pocket. So if you look in Walgreens deals this week, there were a number of deals that were giving register rewards, such as the an all May deal. They are 30% off this week, I believe. And then when you buy two, you got a $5 register reward. We also had insert coupons to lower your out of pocket for those deals. If you want to see the breakdown for those deals, um, head over to my Walgreens haul for this week. And you can definitely check out some Revlon and Alme deals I did on Sunday, but they each gave me back $5 register rewards and those are papers so say i have five items and then i have these two register rewards that i want to use to lower my out of pocket because that is going to take off ten dollars off of my 25 already i just can't have you know five coupons and like three or four items if that makes sense, you have to have more items than coupons or at least an item per coupon. Um, even if it says something in your app, like $3 off of two, that $3 is attaching to one of your items. So you still have that extra item to attach a register reward to. Um, but just make sure, like I said, do not have more items than do not have more coupons than items. And if you do need an extra item, there's definitely some really cheap makeup brushes. Wet n Wild has 99 cent makeup brushes. And then there's some like dollar bar soaps that I always like to put in my um, deals. Into number five, I just thought to throw this in for anyone who might not know bar soap and well, body wash and hand soap are included in beauty. So, um, like for example, this week dial is on sale for $3.99 and there are some BOGO coupons that are available that, um, we received, I think in like two last week or the week before is inserts. So you can use, um, that BOGO coupon and get one of your dials for free. So just giving you guys a heads up, if you weren't, um, familiar with Walgreens soap and hand soap are included in beauty or they are considered beauty um, items. So for number six, this is if you are not necessarily shopping for things that you need, um, buy items that have high value coupons to help lower your out of pocket. So for example, here, um, the Shea Moisture, this week we have 
two $5 off two coupons. One is for hair and one is for facial products. So I like getting the um, coconut and hibiscus um, curling smoothie. It is a, a 3.2 ounce and you can check that out in my Walgreens haul as well. At my store, those are priced at $4.29. And this week, they're buy one, get one 50% off. So you buy one for $4.29 and the other one will ring up to $14. And once you take that $5 off a of two coupon, they end up coming out to be, I believe, like $0.67. Cents. And um, that's a high value coupon. So you used to do the same thing when it comes to buying the facial Shea Moisture, you can buy the African Black Soap Bars for $3.99, buy two of them, and the $5 off two can be used on that as well. Those are two different $5 off two coupons, so right there you have $10 coming off. So if you're not shopping for, say you need hair dye, I know Garnier um, hair dye, there's a sale, there's $6.99, and there's two coupons right now, there is a $2 off um digital and their manufacturer coupon along with a two dollar off ivc booklet coupon but if the, you're not looking for a specific thing and you're just looking to build points or shop over at walgreens um and just build up those points during the beauty event um consider buying some of the things that have the higher value coupon so you can really get your out of pocket um down so Moving into number seven, and this is definitely one of the couponers' favorite things, um, including myself, is always look for a beauty event flyer. And I say with the barcode because they do need to scan it. And the in-app digital coupon. So towards the end of the video, I will definitely give you guys a glimpse in my app and show you that. Um, majority of the time, these two stack and we get a total of 14,000 points back, which is $14.00. Um, when you have that paper flyer booster coupon and you have the one in your app. So the one in your app is automatically going to register that you spent $25 or more on beauty. As long as you pay with cash, do not use points and you will get that 7,000 points back. If you have that flyer or even a normal booster coupon, as long as, um, you scan that one and you have the one in your app, Fingers crossed, but nine times out of 10, we end up getting double the points back. So that's why so many couponers love having that flyer and that um, in-app coupon because you get double the points. So another thing I have is if possible, see if your store will accept a screenshot of the flyer. Stores are not required to take um, to accept the screenshot. And I know some stores around me do not even think about pulling out a screenshot because they definitely will tell you no. Um, I even try to pull it up from the Walgreens like email to say like, look, you sent me this email. Um, but if that doesn't work, I also thought about maybe try printing it. I've never printed it. This is just a thought I had today while I was just coming up with different scenarios for shopping tomorrow, but try, um, printing it out and using it. Um, and another note is the flyer even states it can be used multiple times. So, and like I said, stores don't have to accept the screenshots, but if you look at this right here, and I know it might be a little fuzzy, but right here underlined in red, it says coupon may be used multiple times. So many times have I gotten to the store and they try to A, keep my coupon, B, tell me you can only use it one time. Um, so here on this, and I actually found this online, um, um, I'm going to go back and see who, whose Instagram, if I liked it, whose Instagram I found this on. It was just another couponer, to be honest, um, and shout them out in this video down below because I've actually um, had it happen to me so many times where they tell me, oh, you can only use this one time. They rip it up and they toss it to the side. Here, it's actually stating facts. Coupon may be used multiple times. So that's just something to possibly point out to your um, cashier over at Walgreens if they don't let you use it again and again. All right. So um, another important thing I have to remember is that note that register rewards and digital coupons do not always work well together. The way the system is set up is to process the paper coupons first, and this includes your register rewards. So um, 
If you're an experienced couponer just listening in, you know what a register reward is. But for anybody who's new, um, a register reward is going to actually be a paper coupon. So if you do a, a points deal, those points are going to go over to your card. They are going to be there. You don't have to worry about losing them. They're on your card. When you put your number in, if you ever want to use them, they're going to say, do you want to use points? And you can say yes or no. In this beauty event um, situation, do not use your points. But in other situations, if you want to use your points, you know, go ahead and use them. Just not in spend deals if you want to receive points back. Register rewards are going to be printing out of the machine. I always ask at this point, is your register room, is your Catalina machine working? Because um, this deal is supposed to give a register reward. So, when you use those register rewards with digital coupons, for some reason, if that register reward attaches to one of your um, items that has a digital coupon, it will knock your digital coupon out and it won't come off and that register reward takes the place of it, which is not what we want to do. Um, so just keep an eye open for those. When you're planning your transactions, know what should be coming off and what your your end total should be. Um, before you know paying you will see all your digital coupons come off at once when the cashier hits the payment button so once you give them um and this moves into my next my next slide here um you want to always have the cashier scan your paper booster first so if you have that flyer have them scan that one first then if you happen to have any percent off coupons um have them scan that then the ivc booklet coupon um if you have the physical booklet have them scan those and this is just scenario based how normally it helps your transaction go smoothly and all the coupons attached to the right items and your register rewards go through with no issues it's not a hundred percent but for the most part um it seems to work um then you want to give any of your paper coupons like from your inserts your newspapers your you know printed off coupons.com you know etc then hand over your register rewards those register rewards we're using to lower our out of pocket and then after that your digital coupons will come off once the cashier hits payment so once your cashier is like oh, okay you owe 15 50 and you're like wait i had two five dollar off shea moisture coupons um once they hit payment those two five dollars will come off and then your total um should go from 15 50 down to 550 you know just for example purposes um your digital coupons will come after they hit that payment but with walgreens what i've learned in my area once they get to the payment screen they can't they say they can't go back because the coupons have already registered and they end up having to call for somebody to do a void and it's very frustrating because if anything goes wrong past the coupon screen into the payment screen you have to start all the way over and they have to call the manager a million times and i absolutely hate when that happens to me um because it's just really frustrating to hold the whole lineup um and then another thing i did want to point out that i didn't mention in this um video is that say for instance you do a register reward deal just be sure that if you're doing the deal paying if you're doing the beauty event and you want to lower out of pocket and use register rewards from a colgate deal or almay or revlon deal if you're using those register rewards to lower you out of pocket and you're buying more of those items more almay more revlon you're not going to get another register reward because you don't get another register reward using the same register reward from that same deal all right and then remember once you use a digital coupon it's gone i know that sounds like common sense but um i've had people in the past ask me like can you use your digital coupon more than once and the answer is no that you don't get to use your digital coupon more than once um, and last but not least, I have don't overdo yourself. Um, I know it can get really exciting during the time of the beauty event and you want to rack up and really stock up on so many things and you might run from five or six different Walgreens and some are stocked up on items. Other couponers are grabbed, have grabbed other items. Don't overdo yourself. Other than that, guys, I'm going to go into my app and I'm going to show you guys some of the things I was talking about and some coupons that can be used starting tomorrow. Guys, right, so we are in my Walgreens app and right here, you guys will see this is the digital 
booster coupon for the beauty event. Now, um, it is really nice when you do have the paper one, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, because this one right here, the digital one and that paper one normally stack and you end up with double the points. Um, so a couple of coupons I wanted to go over is this one right here, which is an Old Spice coupon. Now, if you have this coupon, this could be used with the two off of, um, with the two, they are, I think they are two for 12 right now. Yeah, so you'll see right here, they are two for 12 and you can use this $5.49 off coupon in this deal. So if you wanted to add two Old Spice into your deals, um, and you still have this coupon loaded to your card from a couple of weeks back, you definitely could go ahead and pick up um, that. And that would be a really, a really great deal. Um, and this is also a way to see what coupons are attaching to what items when you're looking in your app. Um, as you can see here, I have this Shea Moisture $5 off of two um, skincare products. So it's going to show some of the higher priced items, but there's also a um, the African Black Soap. So this is the soap right here that I'm talking about. You want to pick up two of these priced at $3.99. Um, and then this five off of two will come, will come off. So you see right here how it says one in stock. It's saying there's only one over one in stock. Sometimes that's right. Sometimes it's not. But it's great to be able to see um, what maybe in stock near your store. Like I said, sometimes it's not right, but it's definitely good um, to check. So looking at a couple of other coupons in here, there is a dollar off of the Dove hand soap. So the hand soaps are two for five this week, and I've already previewed some of the um, deals that I wanna do. Um, stay tuned, because I will post my haul tomorrow once I'm done shopping. But these are two for five. They are considered beauty and you can use this dollar off digital. Hopefully stores are allowing you to get two because um, they're, some of the stores limit how many soaps and toilet papers and things like that you can still get with COVID. But considering the deal is two for five, I would really hope you could get two of them. Um, so then moving over to some coupons I have not clipped yet. So there's some high value Olay coupons, probably for all the more expensive items. But if Olay is something that you need, it's definitely something to go for. Um, I have a sneak peek here, 10% off of $35 purchase. Um, I have $2 off some Garnier. So these are just other coupons um, I have in my app. Here, Nivea lotion is a part of beauty, so always remember you can pick up some lotion. I think we actually have, I think I have a two off of three um, insert coupon, but these are going to be buy one, get one 50% off, and I think they're spend 20, get 5,000 points, so that also can stack with your booster coupons. Um, you're already spending $25, and then if you spend $20 on these, Say you spend $20 on Nivea and then you add five more dollars worth of beauty, you're going to get 5,000 points back for this Nivea. And then say you have the digital booster and a paper, you're going to get 14,000. So um, definitely something to consider when you're out shopping because that could be, um, that's a really good deal as well. So just to wrap up this video because um, I wasn't, you know, doing too many scenarios when it came to this video. Basically, I just wanted to point out some tips and things to remember when you're out shopping during the beauty event. Um, all these coupons, like for instance, right here, when they say with card, with card is, this is gonna be the same coupon you can find in the IVC booklet in store if your stores are carrying them, or it's gonna be in your app. This isn't a manufacturer coupon. This is Walgreens coupon. So say you also have a dollar off Reese's purchase to manufacturer coupon for whatever reason. You can use both of those. This is a Walgreens coupon. Stack that manufacturer coupon with this. Guys, and that's all I have for you today in the things to remember when shopping over at Walgreens during their beauty event. Um, I know sometimes it could be a lot of different things to remember when you're couponing, but just take it one transaction at a time. Don't overdo it. And um, as always, if you have not subscribed to my channel, uh, please consider subscribing. I post weekly videos and I would love to have you as a part of my YouTube fam. 
Um, so don't forget to hit that notification bell as well so you're notified each and every time I post a video. And don't forget I will leave all the links to other videos from Walgreens Beauty Events down below. And also check out my um, caution couponing shirt. I will leave the link down to those down below for you guys to grab your couponing shirts. And I will catch you guys in my next video.